Okay, Master Kenny Hu from goodfengshui.com. Thank you for talking to me. Um, well, Master Kenny, we've known each other a long time. Uh, we're going back over 10 years. Um, we even used to work in the same building. Um, so today is actually the first day of the Lunar Chinese New Year, right? Um, what is in store for us in 2021? Okay, 2021, I named this year as the Golden Bull Year. So we believe that this will be a turnaround year. There will be a lot of uh, new things, a lot of uh, new positive changes. Now. A lot of people has been like very worrying over the past many months, uh, especially from the beginning of last year until lately. However, from our analysis, if we, if we compare, for example, 2020 and 2021, 2021 tend to be a more uh, positive years. In terms of clashes also, not so much if you look at it from the Bazi point of view, from the Feng Shui Kua, I mean, uh, analysis. <clears throat> yeah, generally this year is a more prosperous and is a golden bull year. I use a bull instead of ox. Uh, O-X uh, with the X uh, doesn't sound so positive. Uh. Bull, that means bull, run, bullish, uh, more powerful, more courage. So we believe that this year we'll be having a lot more good changes. That's why I named this year, 2021, as the year of turn around. Okay, so what does the year turn around mean? Does it mean turn around for the share market or the economy or for property or for what, what, do, you, what do you mean by that? Okay, generally the word turn around or the Chinese word zhuan, that means everything it will be keep on uh, changing and then this will be a good timing for us to turn around, for example, in terms of economy, in terms of personal health, in terms of market situation, in terms of education, everything will be light into a new phase. So we cannot expect uh, everything. Like for example, keep on dreaming, keep on thinking about the past. For example, thinking about two years ago, three years ago, how good, how joyful we were. We will not go back to the same old phase like before. From this year, we have to start our engine to, uh, for example, to uh, kickstart everything. Last year, a lot of people was like, I mean, beyond their control, being kept at home because of the lockdown, because of the MCO. However, in this year, we have to start our engine to kickstart everything. <clears throat> For example, in terms of like, I mean, many fields in terms of uh, education, the stock market, even the property sector, and in the business sector as well. Uh, there will be a lot of new faces that we should not wait and see anymore, that we must be like all proactively to, uh, to create the opportunity to understand the market situation and then to create the, the new requirement. The new normal or the new norm is no more new. The new economy also no more new to us. Everything is become reality right now. We have to, I mean, adapt to this kind of market situation, this type of lifestyle, like for example, going out with a mask, or maybe have to wash hand every day. A lot of people also actually observe, right, over the past one year until lately, eh? in fact, more people did not fall sick because uh, they implement or be implemented uh, very careful, like personal hygiene. Uh, all these actually contribute uh, positively. So when we come to this year, we have to identify firstly in terms of the market situation uh, because of the technology advances. A lot of new product, a lot of new uh, services will be uh, like emerged, <coughs> we will see. And moreover, there will be a lot of people who will be doing cross-domain or cross-disciplinary or maybe, uh, maybe cross-border in terms of like, for example, some of the companies, some of the individuals that have been like in certain kind of, maybe for example, in the property sector or in the car industry, very suddenly you may find that this group of person, they may venture into something totally different from what they have been doing conventionally. So <clears throat> this will open up because by having people from another field, having these different kind of uh, uh, experiences, then they'll go into another field. They'll bring in a lot of new ideas, new breath, and very innovative uh, way when they're dealing with this kind of uh, so-called product and services. So we foresee in this year, we, we will be having a lot of new product and services and also very customized uh, uh, so-called product and services to be launched to the market as well. By having this also, that actually create or trigger a lot of customers' uh, new requirements. So this will actually open up to us, open to us a lot, a lot of new uh, opportunity. That's why I named this year as the year of turnaround. We cannot sit still. We whatever thing happened in the past, whether it's uh, uh, I mean suffering, whether it's uh, 
sour, whether it's uh, 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 challenging or not. We have to forget about this and then we have to start our engine to make it happen, to turn around the situation. This is the opportunity. And I always say, uh, since the past many months, this could be a once in a lifetime kind of life-changing opportunity to us. Because the world also changing into a new world order. Right, this, I will elaborate a little bit more about new world order. Okay, Tia, tell, tell me, what is this new world order and how, how do people prepare? Because you say turn around, right? But um, people are scared. They might not have their job. Maybe they are trying to make ends meet. Um, the children are working from home. How do you how do you take advantage when people are afraid? Okay, when we look at things, right, we can look from other angles. Uh, some people, for example, they, they miss their job. Maybe they lose their job. However, due to this situation, they're forced because life still needs to go on. This kind of situation forced the people to move on. For example, there will be a lot of people start up new companies, new venture. And moreover, right now, doing business is actually easier comparing to the previous time. For example, during 1997, 1998, there was an economic crisis. Comparing to the previous phase, actually, this time around is easier. For example, we are having a lot of tools. For example, through the internet, a lot of things can be done via the internet. There are a lot of new advanced uh, technology that actually help us. A lot of people actually can do a lot of businesses just by using a phone, right? Uh, without having a, a physical office. Doing it, a lot of things can be done virtually. And then we are coming to this phase, for example, in Malaysia, we maybe can work for a company in China, can work for a company in India without physically flying there or staying there. So there'll be a lot, a lot of new, uh, very interesting uh, so-called uh, uh, scenario and also opportunity to us. So how do you see investing? Do you see a stronger property market? Do you see a, pro- a stronger share market? What are your thoughts? Okay, from, from the good feng shui viewpoint, when we look at things, for example, investment, we must subcategorize it into various uh, elements. For example, we view it uh, uh, from the elements of uh, wood and fire. In this year, uh, anything linking with the wood and fire elements will be doing very well. When we talk about wood, we will think about what? About uh, healthcare, about uh, anything like fruits, uh, vegetable. Uh, for example, we also hopeful that the uh, rubber, the prices of rubber, palm oil, which are very important to Malaysia as well, uh, will be increased. And also wood also links uh, to the educational related uh, product and services. Because of the lockdown, because of the pandemic, that actually forced people to study from home. That actually create uh, a lot of new requirements, a lot of new apps uh, being so-called created by, by many experts. Uh, for example, one simple example, a tuition teacher, for example, used to be like teaching very localized area only, right? Uh, to teach tuition, there's a tuition center, for example, in Penang or in Nipo. However, come to this time around because of the technology, uh, people can use uh, Zoom and also uh, uh, and also some other tools, right? They can teach students all the way. Uh, maybe can reach out to uh, Sabah, to Johor, to Kuantan. Uh, this is actually open up uh, bigger markets to the education background, to the tuition teacher as well. So if you look at it, right, this kind of situation. Uh, because of the changes of the uh, so-called the, the new world order, actually it forced and then it triggered many, many new kind of uh, industries and also to extend further a lot of conventional product and services to, uh, to a, a greater horizon actually. Okay, but in specific terms like the share market, when you say it's good for wood and fire, right? What kind of sectors and what kind of stocks? Okay, when we talk about the fire-related industry, will be those relating to the telecommunication, high technological things, e-commerce, uh, for example, uh, uh, electronic, uh, telecommunications, anything linked with the high tech uh, will be doing well. Even the chip semiconductor will be uh, doing very, very well. And even some conventional product and services will be linking, integrate with the uh, high technological things as well. They say just not like educational, uh, education products, uh, even healthcare products and services, will also automatically will link with, for example, AI, link with the big data technology. Uh, this will be the trend and due to, because of the, uh, the availability of the IoT, that actually will enable a lot of conventional product to have more power, to extend further or a lot more features 
in the uh, for example in the uh, for example in the in the in the, in the products uh, service and also the services in terms of the features so that actually can open up more markets to them or bigger markets to them so we foresee that fire related will be doing very well so in, in this year so anything linked with the fire related uh, for example in the, in the stock market right will be doing well in the, in the year of 2021 uh, besides that the product and services links with the uh, uh, matter element will also be doing well. When we talk about matter, I mean, immediately we'll think about one of the prices of gold, prices of silver should be shooting very high, especially towards uh, the month of August. So generally, we foresee that in, the, in this year, by entering after entering to around May and also August, the market situation will be getting uh, much more active and also will be much more uh, I mean, progressive. So of course there will be some of the uh, challenging months as well. For example, in the months of uh, June, <coughs> August, December, the market situation situation maybe will be a bit uh, challenging. Uh, there will be a lot more uncertainties. However, in the months of February, for example, now <coughs> and also May, uh, July, September, and October, these are the very positive months. Positive in terms of the market. Uh, I mean the people's emotion, market atmosphere. Uh, there will be a lot more so called good news if you open up newspaper, we read from the internet, there will be more positive news compared to the negative news. There will be more. What do you think of the COVID? More For example, those industry links with the water related product and services uh, will be, for example, water related product and services. Uh, is uh, for example those uh, products links to the tourism, <coughs> logistics, uh, maybe air travel, ground transfer, uh, the shipping. Uh, over the last uh, last year in twenty twenty has been was very uh, were very challenging. However, when we come to this year, we will see I mean more new uh, new breath. There will be more new lights uh, coming. So there will be more, for example, in terms of uh, uh, traveling, maybe due to the local traveling. Uh, uh, there'll be more, uh, even though not the inbound one, maybe internally uh, within the country in, the, the, in terms of the domestic uh, uh, traveling, there'll be more. So <clears throat> those who are dealing with this kind of industry, they should not sit still. They should do something to adapt to the changes, uh, the new requirements to create more uh, so-called, uh, uh, I mean, uh, to attract more of their customers. Besides that, <clears throat> the earth-related industry looks very uh, challenging over the past one or two or three years. However, coming to this year, uh, due to maybe partially due to the stimulus uh, program, uh, which has been implemented in uh, locally and also many other countries as well, if we foresee that property-related product and services, we'll see some new breath as well in this year. Of course, this will still be a buyer's market. Uh, that means the, the seller will be more than the, the, the buyer. Uh, the buyer will be very happy because there'll be more good choices and prices also to be uh, mean, uh, mean lower, more rebates going on more. And of course, uh, those uh, product and services property related, right, real estate, uh, who, uh, which are already having very good feature, for example, in terms of the design, location, plus, of course, a lot of people are very concerning about feng shui. Uh, if the feng shui design also very good, then this kind of property will be so easier comparing to others. So this is a time also we are actually seeing uh, some of the developers start to do some changes already to adapt to this kind of new requirements because a lot of new rich or new riches will be seen also. Uh, young and successful uh, people, they, the, their lifestyle is different. They, they, the way they, they want to buy property is so different, unlike the previous one, right? Just about the security, uh, about the design. So the new riches, actually, the way they think, uh, the, their thinking method also a bit different. So <clears throat> all the property developers, and the real estate uh, 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 agents, maybe they have to do something to adapt to or to, to fulfill these kind of new requirements or this new normal, actually. How do you see the um, COVID? Uh, can it, do, you, do, you, do you see COVID deteriorating this year? What is your thought? Okay. <laughs> Based on our analysis and also <clears throat> the, uh, of course, we analyze uh, using various uh, <clears throat> uh, angles. For example, from the yearly birth chart, uh, of this year, and also plus the flying star chart, <coughs> plus the qua, and also and so and we add in some other predictions, uh, uh, so called elements as well or parameters. <coughs> we tend to believe that this year, in terms of the pandemic, 
in terms of the COVID-19 situation will be stabilized. So by entering, uh, with, uh, for example, May, because why in May? Because in May and also in August, there'll be more noble stars in this year. Noble stars will I mean, tend to uh, remedy or pacify the, the situation. So we tend to believe that ent after entering to May, we'll start to see the situation to be more stable, actually. So this is the year that we should, uh, we should not wait, should not be worrying too much. We must uh, be uh, more aggressively to start our engine in terms of our education, in terms of our business, uh, our lifestyle. We have to start it instead of wait and see. Keep fearing, keep worrying actually won't help. We must have the courage to uh, so-called to, to welcome this kind of situation and to open up, I mean, to us, a new phase of our life. What about Malaysia? Because right now, we're Malaysia, not very sure, right? Generally, over the past many years, or over the past few years, right, after the election, right, TH, and after they come to this uh, current uh, uh, camp, so-called, uh, of course, we don't mention, we don't uh, mean uh, comment about the politic political situation. Uh, from the good feng shui viewpoint, Malaysia physically it is located uh, at the southern part of the, I mean, the Grand Asia continent. Uh, in when we are entering to the period nine, okay, right now we are still living in the period eight cycle. However, very soon we are entering to period, period nine already. <coughs> the period nine feng shui cycle will start from officially 2024. However, the changes of the so-called feng shui qi is not digitally divided. Actually, it's the like analog. There will be a crossover. <clears throat> the crossover actually started from around uh, July uh, 2017. And so since then, there have been a lot of uncertainty, very kind of very, very messy kind of situation uh, have been like being uh, experienced by a lot of people, like for example, Malaysians. I mean, to us, actually, this is actually a phase that is actually moving forward to lead us into a better, I mean, uh, uh, so-called level, actually. So, and also because of the, uh, the Malaysia uh, location in terms of the land form, those are uh, especially in the period number nine, the positive chi actually is uh, along the north and also the south line, the north maybe from Russia, China, all the way down south to Malaysia, to Singapore. And then the good chi will be accumulated, will be well protected by the, uh, the islands of Sumatra, the Java. So the chi actually is being so-called covered or contained there very safely. <clears throat> so by I mean, moving into uh, period number nine, I mean moving into 2024, we should see Malaysia should progress very well. <clears throat> Moreover, also coincidentally also, uh, Indonesia actually, they are actually building their new capital in the Borneo Island. Uh, why Borneo Island? A lot of people ask. Uh, right? However, from the Good Feng Shui viewpoint, Borneo Island, including Sabah, Sarawak, right? Indonesia, will be doing very well. The Kut Gucci will be doing very well. And also with China's uh, initiative or the, or the Belt and Road Initiative, right? It was the South. Actually, this region, including Malaysia, right? Including Indonesia, Singapore, will benefit from it very much. So generally, uh, we, I tend to believe that Malaysia and also generally Southeast Asia will be another greater wealth zone in the, I mean, for the whole world. So when we talk about wealth zone, for example, previously we think about what London, Switzerland, right? <clears throat> for example, New York, Japan, uh, Dubai, uh, Hong Kong. And then right now we are seeing uh, this region, Malaysia, maybe KL, uh, will be another wealth zone I mean, for the whole world. Wow, very good news, huh? Very good news. Okay, how, how do you see um, America and China? Talk about America first, right? How do you see the new government? You mean America? Yeah, US. Okay, over the... Uh, when we talk about feng shui also, we discuss about all this uh, based on the good feng shui viewpoint. Everything is a cycle, right? Just like humankind. Uh, someone will be growing from baby, growing up strong, and then when it comes to a certain point of time, will be become weaker also, right? <clears throat> Similarly, a country as well, a region as well, a city as well. Uh, the big cycle actually is 180 years, right? And the smaller cycle can be 20 years. That's why in terms of feng shui calculation, we have period number one, number two, number three, until period number nine. So the whole big cycle actually is about 180 years. So uh, 180 years ago from, for example, around this time, which was about 1840, 
1840 uh, was around the time the Western powers, for example, from the uh, Great Britain, United Kingdom, yeah, they start, I mean, uh, the, the Western power come to the Oriental world, so they extend their influences in terms of economy, politics, and also a lot of things like has been based on their values, <coughs> based on their system. So US is considered one part of them, right? The Western uh, system. So if we look at it, let's say doing comparison, right? The Oriental uh, so-called the values the influence will be or is actually getting stronger right now <coughs> versus let's say US. Uh, US, uh, from what we observe because of the uh, pandemic and from our push from the viewpoint, uh, in this year, 2021, maybe they have to spend a lot more longer time to maybe to uh, uh, stabilize the situations, right, in terms of the uh, the healthcare system, uh, the people there, and also the economy. So, however, from the, uh, I mean, stock market investment point of view, there will be a lot of big, uh, big ups and downs, wavies. A lot of people actually like this kind of situation. Should there be any so-called big, big waves, uh, up, very high, down, very badly, that actually create a lot of short and long uh, investment opportunity. Actually, right? a lot of people, if the market keep on growing up, also may not be good. It can be too risky. If it's like stabilized, uh, sideways also not very good. So we tend to believe that this year in terms of investment to be uh, having a lot, a lot of investment either locally or even from the US market and also some other markets as well. However, uh, generally in US in this year, in order to go back quickly, go back to the like the previous kind of status uh, may not be that easy. So at least maybe uh, they need to wait until around at least maybe August or September only, then their situation to be more stable. However, in this region, in the Southeast Asia, in uh, for example, in, in, in Asia led by China, actually will be progressing very well. So we can say that we are, we are, we are, more, we are lucky actually. So you see China as being very strong this year and then going, what about the long term? In the long term, we tend to believe that as what I say, over the past 180 years from 1840, right, the Western uh, influence come to Oriental uh, region, especially China, since then uh, the, the so-called the influence or the values or the power become lesser and lesser, getting weaker and weaker. Only recent years, uh, China start to come back again. Not only China, in fact, other uh, I mean, Asian countries like India also coming up, right? So this is actually an opportunity from Malaysia as well to pick up, right, faster to capture um, the what the opportunity as well. So we tend to believe that in terms of like the the chi, the good chi in China can last at least for the next twenty years, and uh, even can go beyond that uh, for until uh, the, the the next forty years, because. Uh, 180 years if we calculate from 1840, right, come to 20, around 2020, uh, 2021 is the, like a new phase. And in terms of feng shui calculation, 2024 onwards will be another new phase. Uh, so theoretically, the oriental uh, influence can last for many, many years. And conservatively say, uh, in terms of the China's the good chi, in the next 40 years should be very good. So it's a new so cycle of wealth, do you think? In terms of technology, in terms of a lot of expertise, in terms of even job opportunities, education, right? Is They are into a very uh, innovative, very, very strong way. And then the way uh, they do it, they handle it, uh, how they deal with the neighboring countries also very well. Is it a new cycle of wealth, Kenny, do you think? Yeah, of course. This is In this new world order, that includes the new cycle of wealth as well. The new world order then, what I mean is because of the shift of the sort of like a quantum shift of the of the I mean the power from the Western uh, influence go back to the to the Oriental or the Eastern influence. So there will be a, a big shift in the in the in the wealth as well. For example, over the past 10 years, 20 years, right? Maybe some of the industry has been doing very well, doing very well. And however, when it comes to this time around, right? There could be some of some other maybe smaller players, smaller company will take over the market, create new markets. So those uh, existing one maybe will be shrink as well. So the, the shift of wealth will be seen as well. And by having this shift of wealth, actually that will be very good for let's say people like us, the lay the lay person, right? That will actually create a lot of new opportunities, a lot of new product and services. 
a lot of new requirements as well. For, I mean, in the markets. Or oh, things like cryptocurrency, is it things like Bitcoin and things like um, I don't know, um, Ethereum and all these things? Uh, we are not surprised by having, uh, for example, this kind of new economy, right? Uh, we are not surprised. We have been seeing this kind of uh, development actually, right? <clears throat> previously, a lot of people, previously, actually not long ago, maybe two years ago, three years ago, a lot of people are very doubtful, very fearful about this kind of cryptocurrency. However, right now, it seems like a, a, like an official thing, seems like it's become like, uh, like a system by itself. Right. Most people are also very, I mean, it's, they, are, they are more keen, want to invest, want to hold it. Okay, man. Okay, thanks a lot, Kenny. Um, thank you. Okay, thank you for your look on the, on the year ahead. So I wish everyone, Okay, fantastic.